Hello, it's Leifa. How are you? Has your child ever had their hair yanked out, like pulled from their scalp and been absolutely bald? Okay, so I've got a little story time. Well, it's not really a story time, but it's just something that happened. So my daughter, who you see in some of the videos, braid with me videos, where I'm just came rolling her hair and doing the style. I'm not the best at came rolling. I always do say this, but you know, little black girls, neat hair, all that stuff, you know how it goes. And as a mother of a girl, um, if you can hear the beads in the background, it's because she's in the background. I have little humans in the background right now. When you're a mother of a girl, there is, especially a little black girl, there is a lot of pressure to make sure that your little girl's hair looks nice and looks good and looks neat. And I never felt that pressure before, but I would have like aunties randomly say, oh, Laefa, what do you do your daughter's hair? And it was really frustrating because, you know, when your hands are full as already, you're very busy. Imagine you have a full-time job or you work part-time, whatever it is, and you run and then you have to do your daughter's hair on top of it. And it takes time. It's time-consuming, especially when they have a lot of hair. And imagine if you have multiple girls. I only have the one. Um, I felt the pressure. And I remember not compare myself to Beyonce at all but I do remember when Blue Ivy was young and there was this whole kerfuffle about her hair not being kept and I remember the whole drama and even then thinking but she's only a child she's like a little like what's the big deal but it's the pressure on little black girls to have neat hair especially if your hair is kinky and coily so hence why I've started doing these braid with me's because ever since my daughter was a little girl I would get aunties telling me do her hair. So I had a lot of pressure from aunties and women, whoever they were, to make my daughter's hair neat. And instead of my fit theory was like, rather com rather than making snarky comments and whatever, why don't you help me? You want to make a comment, but what about you? Or what about your child? Or what about and it is it's to be fair, I'm I don't even care about you or your child, but if you if it irritates you so much that my child's hair isn't kept, help me, isn't it? Anyway, so I started creating time whilst I have the time, because I don't always have the time and I'm not sure how long I will have the time to do my daughter's hair. Now I do her hair every two to three weeks. Sometimes it stretches no, it's usually every two to three weeks. And she goes swimming on a weekly basis. Um, she goes swimming on a weekly basis. So whilst her hair is in braids, I do shampoo her scalp so that after the first week, it does get a little bit messy. But I just know, I noticed that when I started doing her hair, I started getting a lot less criticism. And I just didn't need the BS. I know it's like, oh, you know, why? why would you let other people's comments bother you? But sometimes it just does and it's just not nice and so I just I, I started creating the time so people think oh I have all this time on my hands it's not it's not that I have all this time on my hands but I've created the time to do it because I felt the pressure and she's you know she's only just turned five this year but I felt the pressure from when she was about two anyway so that's by the wayside so recently about two months ago my daughter came back from school and she said her beads had fallen out. Like, I don't know, something happened. Her beads had fallen out. Okay. And then the, uh, I think she told the teacher, thought nothing of it. Then the week that I was taking her hair out to redo it, um, I noticed like chunks. I'm going to put some um, clips in this video. I hope. Yeah, I'm going to put some clips in this video. I hope I've got them. Might move to the side a little bit. I, um. So the week that I was taking her hair out, it could come out. It came out when your when your hair got stuck in the tree. No, when did where did it? Where? Yeah, well, it where, where did it got it came, came out, out from the braid Here. because it's still stuck to the braid. So now that I'm losing the braid, it's coming out on the hair. Yo. So I was taking the braids out and washing her hair. I just noticed like a bald patch on both sides where her edges were. I was like, Adesua, what happened? And she explained to me that her hair got caught in the tree. So in their school playground, they have a tree house. 
So she likes to play in the treehouse. And she said her hair got caught in the treehouse. I was like, oh my goodness. And it looked so painful because literally, I don't know if I have clips, I will insert it. But the big clump, like a just a big clump of hair from the left and the right, the left and the right, out of her head. And I was thinking, oh, wasn't that painful? And she was like, no. And I could imagine... Like, you know, when children are playing the adrenaline, the hype, they probably don't notice the pain. But I suppose if there had been blood, she probably would have started crying. But thank God there wasn't blood. Anyway, so it was bald and I was thinking, how bizarre. And I was thinking, and it looked really painful. Just when I tell you, it was just like skin, just skin. And there's only a little patch, but, you know, so the next day I went to her school, the teacher did say that um, she spoke about the beads, but didn't notice the ball patch. So I was like, oh my goodness, I hope this grows back. Because this is the edges. And if she's anything like me, um, most of us, our edges are... Like, you might have long hair, but your edges are the most fragile and the most sensitive. So I was like, oh, I really hope this grows back. So I just started putting a lot of... I started like just massaging her scalp, rubbing it with castor oil and... Um, what else did I do? I would use some onion juice when I... I wouldn't do onion juice especially for her. But when I when I made some onion juice for myself, I would... Whatever's left over, just rub a little bit on hers. And it took about... I think by week three, week four, I started... Like, the hair was growing back. So I'll show you clips of the hair. The hair started growing back really nicely. And so I'm just saying, if this has ever happened to any of you, try this. I know that castor oil is really good for the edges. I'm not sure about the whole head, but it's really good for the edges. And I love um, onion juice. I swear by it. I think if you've tried it for like months and months and you find that it doesn't work maybe it's um maybe there's a mineral in there that you don't necessarily need and maybe it's another hair issue that you're having but i swear by i love it so yeah i just started rubbing castor oil on her edges and i found that maybe because she's young and you know she's young and healthy she may not have needed that it would have just grown back by itself anyway but i just wanted to give it the extra kick whether it made a difference or not i do not know but this is something that i did so if you're ever having issues with like your little girl's hair or your hair where it has you're not necessarily suffering from alopecia or traction alopecia but just maybe a chunk of hair has come out from breakage or whatever whatever the case may be um, try it. It worked for my little girl. We're two months in and she's just got like tufts of hair now growing back on this side and that side. And I, when I braid her hair, it's not long enough to catch into the camera. So I just let it be. But yeah, it grew back really nicely. And yeah, that's the little story of my little girl's hair. So some of you wondering, how do I have the time? I make the time and Maybe because I have the time right now, I create the time. But it's also the the personal pressure that I feel to have to have her look put together. And there is there is a thing where little, you know, little black girls, they get treated... Just like women, black women, we get treated a little bit differently when our hair is put together, when our hair is nicer, when our hair is kept... And she likes it. She loves it. We, you know, we've been doing it for so long that she's so used to it. She's It's like a whole routine for us. There's snacks. There's Disney movies. It's a whole day scenario. And yeah, but um, yeah, it's grown back really well. And I just thought I would share that for anybody who may have had issues with their own hair or their little girl's hair. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Do comment if you have any stories to share. Like this video. It helps me out a lot. And a, 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 until the next one. Bye.